You're wondering whether popular images of women are affecting behavior and whether the bad girls are trying to outdo the bad boys for outrageousness and attention. Take a look. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a and I'm admitting it. In this video by love and hip hop reality TV star Mariah Lynn, she brags about using her body for cash. It is what it is. From girl fight beatdowns posted on YouTube to primetime female fights, the message is clear. To get what you want, take it. And on social media, less, as in less clothing, usually equals more followers. It was easy for us to kind of point to the reality shows and to point to social media and the various things that they're exposed to on television. However, it's important for the parents to become very involved and active in the young girl's life in order for them to have other images of what is a good way to act. What is ladylike? There was nothing ladylike about the alleged actions of these two women. The NYPD says they robbed an NBA star of more than half a million dollars in jewelry. And in this vicious girl gang assault in a Brooklyn McDonald's, the 15-year-old victim actually bragged about her online fame. I certainly see an increase in their sexuality. They're starting to dress a lot more provocative. They are engaging in all sorts of antisocial behavior, including truancy, um, sexually active, um, fighting more. Fell in love with a bad you know that every time you leave me. Series like you know Orange is the New Black have put a spotlight on females on lockdown. It reflects reality. The number of women doing time has been steadily rising since 2010, according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics. Even TV stars who live in mansions, like Teresa Judice of Real Housewives of New Jersey, end up behind bars. Occupations like stripping that were once shunned are now glamorized. Cardi B, I come through and I kill everything. And love and hip hop star Cardi B used it to launch a booming entertainment career. The controversial way that some women are being portrayed is a hot button issue that has everyone talking. Joining me is Pastor James Manning. He's the pastor of the Outlaw World Missionary Church in Harlem. Also with us is reality star Cardi B. You see her in Love and Hip Hop. And she also has a new EP called Gangsta B. Cardi, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you very much. We you really, having me. We you know really saying? appreciate it. Also with us is uh, Kayla Gerties. She just came home from doing a five year prison term for manslaughter, wow. um, for running over and killing a retired doctor. But now she's turned her life around, got an education, starting at Columbia. University, and she's going to tell us how low it got for her and what she did to turn her life around. Kayla, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. Pastor, I want to start with you. What do you see going on with women? Well, I, I think that what we have in our entire humanity culture is a decline of the biblical, spiritual, moral that has kept us for so many years. Uh, that's all moved off the scene now. And we're looking at a free fall, if you will, in terms of moral, sexuality, immorality. All that's happening and it's affecting young people greatly. I think that uh, we're going to see more of that decline because of who we have in leadership. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. Okay, but the, but a lot of a lot of young women are in crisis and are facing very tough circumstances. Cardi, you you just did an interview recently and you said it was stripping that helped you get out of a domestic violence situation with your boyfriend. Tell us about that. Right, well, you know, when um, when I was 18 years old, right, uh, you know, usual Caribbean people, they always have problems with their parents, and they almost all the time get kicked out when they're 18. So, you know, I was forced to live with um, my first boyfriend, and I was going to college, actually, and I had a day job, which I had to quit college because I couldn't balance my job and college at the same time, and I was making $200 a week, no matter how many hours I put, like tax come out, and it's like literally 200, 215. When I got fired from um, the supermarket I used to work in, um, the manager from the supermarket, he told me to, oh, you're pretty, you have a nice body, why don't you go across the street to New York Dolls and get a job there? You know what, after I started dancing, I actually made enough money to move out and um, on my next semester I started going back to school and I was doing pretty good and you know what it wasn't dancing that stopped me 
from going to school is that you know like I'm, I, I was young minded and I be so I guess so in love that it's like you know what instead of me going to my class and everything I want to chill with this guy and I want to get drunk so the next day and I failed and it's just like after a while it was just like whatever it was just it was just a whole lifestyle we're gonna talk we're gonna yeah. talk about that too okay um Kayla, your situation, you were 19 years old, 18 years, 18 old. years old, and you had a really bad pill problem. Yes. Help us understand this. Where was your head at age 18? You're high on Oxy and a bunch of other pills. You're in a van. You ram the van into this lady's yard, this retired doctor minding her own business, gardening or whatever. She's killed. And then even after you're arrested, you're popping off in front of the cameras coming out of the precinct. When you look at the Kayla from six years ago, what what do you see what, when you look at that? Um, a lost, broken, selfish, inconsiderate person who had no regard for herself or anybody else. You know, um, I, I was dead. When you look back on that now, how does that make you feel? It's sad, but it gives me so much motivation to reach out to other women and to other people who are hurting or who are going through something. Coming up. Oh, one more question. I promise I don't bother you any further. Don't bother me no more. I'm here with the one and only Diddy. I still call him up because we go way back. <laughs> yeah. How both voter died. Even, even before that, I'm a lifelong friend here. I'm so proud of you. One of the best in the game. Yeah. All right. A lot of people suffer every day, and many of them go on to do great things with their lives. Right, but not everybody's right. wired the same way. Not everybody yeah, has okay. the same you know what? support. I mean, we can, Cardi's we, working we at a supermarket, going to we school, can and that. That, trying that, to get that, away that, from a boyfriend that's beating then her. Then we want to discover why are people wired the way that they're wired, and we want to try to negate that if they're wired going in the wrong direction. But that's do you think there's a lot there. of pressure in the society for 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 girls, especially, and for young women to fit in and look like they're having the time of their lives, and it's always popping, and they got the latest this and the latest that. Cardi? Well, I think it is um, pressure a lot. You know, when, um, you know, me working in the strip club, when I started, I always thought I have a real nice body. I always thought I had a nice butt, nice breasts and everything. And then I'm starting to see on social media that, like, girls like me, it just is it's nothing in the strip club. You're really, like, nothing. You're, like, invisible. And you just get so much peer pressure. Like, look at these girls on TV. Like, all you see is breasts and Back in the day, in hip hop videos, you just seen beautiful, beautiful dark girls or light girls. They they just had nice slim bodies. Nowadays, you can't even get a role if you don't have big boobs, big breasts. You might you might not even get a role if you're dark. Like nowadays, like a preference is like being Spanish. Even in in New York City clubs, you might not even get a job because you're just. You're dark and, and it's sad. It's really all about image and about fitting in. Look at the girls that no, get I, praised. Are you sad, to say, sad to say girls like me get praised on social media. That's why I tell girls on my social media like, I, I it wasn't you. easy for me, so like just because it worked out for me, like don't do it. But do you think uh, it's working? You so you tell him that you tell him you were telling the other. Go, go ahead. Pastor. Are you saying that to expose your body as you're presently doing is not the right thing to do? That that that's cheapening who you are, and to use the word whoring out your body. I at, feel for like, whatever, for, for, I feel for like if you if you want to do it, if that's what you want to do, you do it because you want to. But don't feel pressure to do it. Don't feel pressure to do it. Like. Don't um, be a stripper because you see a stripper making money. Because one day a stripper can make $1,000, but there could be five days but, that she makes yeah, zero. What, what about what, what, that what money about? without your integrity? I'm just wondering, like, you know, and I'm not trying to, to come at you any type of way, but, like, what about, like, how do you feel? Because, uh, what? like, like, it doesn't, like, you don't feel a way. Like, uh, at the beginning, at the beginning, when I first started dancing, I felt a little disappointed. Like, I felt like if my parents was to find out, they would be so disappointed and I felt disgusted. But that's why I saved my money. Mm -hmm. That's why I own businesses with my money. And it is what it is. It just really depends on what you're doing the things for. So do you feel like but it you was like your way out? It was my way out. 
But you would tell, what would you tell other, other women that, that... It might not work for you. You have a career in the entertainment industry, but it's also, you, you understand, everyone in this room understands. Strippers now, too, we have a love-hate relationship with them because people are like, well, no, that's not a good thing for a, for a woman to be. But on the other hand, most of the but music okay videos, that's, a that's a huge... But is it okay to be a lawyer? All right, so is it okay to be a lawyer to defend murderers, to defend people that stole money from people? You know what? Uh, well, you just sin lawyer, in different you know, ways. There's doctors already, that's prescribing about a pills lawyers, to young to. girls like her. Like, you just, uh, you're just a sinner in different ways. And like I said, like, you do what you want to do because you feel like doing it. Don't feel pressured to do it because you see girls doing it. Coming up, we'll find out what the pastor has to say about Beyonce. What up, you guys? It's Seven Streeter, and you're watching Lisa Evers Street Soldiers on Fox 5. McCarty, what about the, and Pastor, you hear this too, the the term H, you know, the H is be winning. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I, I heard Brag, bragging earlier, about earlier someone said that the earlier rap music did not have the exposing of the woman's body. Woman's that was body. Cardi, yeah. yeah. You see them wearing but, turtlenecks? They're, they're like wearing... I yeah. mean... But I mean, I, I, I suppose to some degree that may have been true. But uh, what I've seen, there are a lot of exposing of women. In fact, they started out uh, with rap music by calling women and and that kind of a thing. Pardon me for having used that expression. But I think that uh, it has always been a the, the sense of degrading women and that women, especially in that uh, young women, have allowed themselves to be degraded in order to be able to get for, to go forward, such as what Cardi is doing here. And I, I, I applaud the fact that she's trying to get out of it or at least exposing it for what it is. But it's always been that way as far as I'm concerned. You're considered a almost for everything. Just for speaking out your mind, you are considered a just for speaking out your mind. But you think that she's winning because she got the Celine and she got the red bottoms, but like you don't know how she feels inside for doing what she has to do. So, so well, Lisa, can I it's not all the thing? be winning, some be losing. Uh, the way women are projected in media at present, for instance, if we look at a very popular woman in media today, such as Beyonce, and how she projects her body and uses her body very effectively, as opposed to someone like Aretha Franklin going back, let's say a generation ago, would Beyonce's method of de demonstrating who she is and gaining her fame by the use of her body, would that be a, a negative influence on young women as opposed to Aretha Franklin? You never saw anything about yeah, her. Yeah, but Pastor, but, but with all due respect, that was, also, that was also a different era. Yeah, I know. And where if you had musical I, I, talent, I, I, it didn't matter what you look I like. Now we're, we're in like a video why? and visual why? age. Who is to say we're in a visual I age. I understand that, but who is to say that? Beyonce has talent and who is to say that this era should dominate? That's what I'm saying. I know. I recognize the difference. Ladies, what do you think about that? I just want to say that I think that, you know, um, it depends who who are your other mentors beside people on TV? Who Who's, you know, a great nurturing question. you? Well, they had so the whole movement with Michelle but, Obama, you know, the pearl necklace movement. No, but I mean, and I mean nobody at home. Really, yeah, but I'm, I'm talking Michelle about Obama. at home, you know, um, if, if, if there are girls who are struggling within themselves and then they, they see Beyonce or they see strippers making a lot of money, they might say, you know what, this is this is my way. This is, is this is how is I'm going to do it. Cardi, what about this? No, I'm not saying Beyonce. Wait, let me see what Cardi has. But Beyonce does. She does show a lot, right? Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I don't, face all I don't the time. think I think she does it tastefully. I have to be honest. I don't think that to some degree to what she does. I, right? I don't. Um, She's not a stripper. No one would call Beyonce a stripper, Pastor. Agree. You're calling Beyonce a stripper? Well, absolutely. <laughs> and, nobody. And, I don't and, think anybody and, would call her a stripper. A language that defines she's a stripper and a booty shaker. That's what she does.
now that you're a star on and a hit show, that I'm a star. But, like you, but, that, but do you feel like a responsibility? Like you had because you're getting this message out. Unfortunately, like I said, I was raised poor, and that's why I worked so hard. Your mother was raised but did you poor talk to you? you? She came from where? Where did your mother come from? She came from Trinidad. But my daughter is you know, not going to be raised poor. My daughter is not going to be raised poor. My daughter is not going to be raised poor. Cardi, pass her one more question. One more question. I promise I'll bother you any further. Don't bother me no more. The question is, are you are you happy? Are you happier now? Um, actually, ever since I became like real popular, I'm not really that happy to be honest with you because you have people like you all the time judging me when I was when I was me and judging nobody you. knew I'm me. Judging no, you, you, you judge, you judge. How do you, you think judge he judge Beyonce. you? Beyonce, like you judge Beyonce, like you have people I'm, like you always judging me, and it's just like it's hurtful. It's 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 annoying, and I can't stand it. And it's so crazy because you? I make. How did I judge you? You're you're biased, and I I'm not going to blame I'm, you for I'm that. I'm expressing a point of view. I, I am not. You're judging me. You're, you're judging me. I'm not I'm expressing I'm, a Cardi, point is of view. is he allowed to have his, is everybody so allowed to have their point of view? Opinion. I'm just telling you my opinion. That's what I'm saying. Your opinion is okay. You could do what but you want to do. But it's not necessarily a judgment. Okay, but let, let me ask you. Well, 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 I mean, I mean maybe it feels like you. a okay. judgment I'm from not the way that. You. All right, so we, we, have so we have some solutions. You say women have to focus more on being beautiful on the inside as opposed to the outside. Yeah, but like. Pastor, you're saying the sexual, the emphasis on sexuality has to be taken down way, way down a notch, and women have to start looking at themselves much more carefully and being more reserved in their appearance and their demeanor. Is that correct? Oh, oh absolutely, and I think they're going to find happiness in that as well. I mean, you know, the physical body is not the only thing that attracts a man. I mean, I've been around for a while, and you want a woman who also has something else to offer you after sex is over with. And so I think that we need to focus more on what the contributions of you spiritually can be. And not, I'm not talking religiously, but in terms of what you're able to give into a relationship rather than just having sex. You can have sex with a whole lot of people. But, but you is it, have isn't a relationship with people. And that's what I think, Carly. is missing. She's missing the whole idea of what a relationship should be, be about. And people who come to a strip club. I have a relationship. They, they, My they, man loves they're not looking for a relationship. They're looking for a quick money. And I'm not looking for a relationship okay, when but I we're go talking to about strip what, club. We're talking about I go to get money so I could eat. Well, you, you, think, you think I go to the strip club? Oh, today I'm going to find me a man. No, I'm here to make money. That's what I came here for. When I was younger, when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, I was not saying in high school, oh my gosh, I can't wait to be a stripper. No, that's where life took me. I had different plans. That's but why you I graduated saw, did you high see, school and went to college. Did you, see, did, you see, did you see women that were doing it with you that had really bad things happen to them? Yes. Like, for example? Like some girls, right? A lot of girls... They don't, like I said, like everybody wants to be a stripper. A lot of girls do not make money stripping. So what do they turn to? So that's to? a myth. To prostitute. A lot of girls do that. And you know what? That is so risky. That is very risky. And that is something that, like I said, if I have a daughter, I'm going to tell her about the casualties that I Lisa, suffer. Okay. I, 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 think that, I think to answer your question that you asked early on in the program as to whether or not bad, girl or, bad girls are advancing, I think the answer is no. I think, that by and large, the larger portion of young women are more chaste, if you will. It's, it's the women that are out front on the media that get all the attention and makes it appear. But I, I see young girls all the time in the street. They're not exposing their bodies in voluptuous ways that would tempt men. They're not doing drugs. They're not looking to be some drug kingpin. And this is the majority of young But women. shouldn't we just love and not judge everybody? I mean, isn't Christianity the whole Jesus Christ, Mary Magdalene story about not judging people for what they do? Well, I don't know if that's the case, but I do think that you can be forgiven for what you do. I mean, the Mary Magdalene and all the others, the prostitutes that Jesus dealt with, were forgiven but they were not encouraged to continue to do what they were doing. I don't think Jesus would have went to the brothel with them. I don't think Jesus would have showed up at a strip joint. I don't think. So how come? I think Jesus so how would come? offer them a solution and say, and I, you there know. There is a solution. So then, so what would you say would be the first step to a woman who has acknowledged that? Kayla, I'm going to have to cut you, you off because we're just about out of time, but I just want to get a final word from you real quick. Okay. No, just just what, do you, what do you see as the answer for women? Education. 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 And that's it. Cardi, last word. What do you want people to know about Cardi B? Be you. Be you. If you want to be a be a 
If you want to be a teacher, be a teacher. If you want to be gay, be gay. Be you. All right, I want to thank all of you for being with us uh, for this episode of Street Soldiers. Pastor James Manning, Cardi B, and Kayla Gerties, thank you so much for, for being with us. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Lisa Evers. And remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace. She has been with me for like my entire career and she has been the most supportive, the most understanding, the most, the sweetest. Oh my goodness, you don't understand. I will, anything you ask of me, it's done.